Leonardo's fascination with flight led to countless drawings of birds and hypothetical flying machines, preserved in one of his famous notebooks, the Codex Atlanticus. Among them, one sketch appears like an amazing intuition, the parachute, something that looks and functions unlike anything that had ever flown before Leonardo's eyes, an idea centuries ahead of its time. Equally amazing are Leonardo's precise instructions. If a man is provided with a length of gummed linen cloth, with a length of seven yards on each side and seven yards high, he can jump from any great height whatsoever without any injury. Adrian Nicholas explains. I was surprised to find out that nobody had ever tried to build this. Nobody had ever tried to fly it. It was considered a lead balloon. A nice try, bless his cotton socks, but not something that would work. It just took us 515 years to find somebody with a brain small enough to build it and try it. From the beginning, we uh, consulted a lot of uh, scientists and uh, specialists in skydiving and parachute manufacturers. And, and they all said, oh, no, it won't work. No chance. It's going to start spilling air back and forth. It's not going to work. Okay. But we thought, well, it, it would be worth a try anyway. It's, uh, it's too good to not, to not try at least. That's it. Two feet. Go on. Martin Kemp, an art history professor at Oxford, helped Katerina and Adrian okay. interpret Leonardo's vision. Okay. And down with the pole. Oxford University gave us so much help and enthusiasm to try and see this through, to make us, to help us to build the parachute as authentically as possible, as close as possible to how Da Vinci would have made it. And then when we had Salford wow. University take an interest <laughs> and ask if they could come and use the parachute to test this new advanced forms of dynamic modeling. Where would you put a calibration board? How far away? Do you need to put a needle pin for that? Put the camera over here. Critical ground tests are conducted the day before the experiment to minimize the risk to Adrian, who will be flying the parachute. Since no one knows exactly how Leonardo's parachute will perform, Adrian must be able to free himself and will be outfitted with a modern parachute as a backup. If Leonardo's chute fails and the 200-pound structure collapses around Adrian, he will have to rely on his own survival instinct and cunning to get out of it in time to open his own parachute. Scientists from Salford University created a computer model based on a preliminary experiment conducted by our team in South Africa that showed how sensitive to air turbulence the parachute would be. Cameras will record the movements of a pattern of black dots painted on one face of the canopy. The Salford scientists hope Leonardo's parachute, designed over 500 years ago, will teach them something new in the modern study of how deformable structures behave in fluid flows. So they can create improved computer programs to be used in the development of better heart valves, cancer cell detection, even safer cars and air traffic control. In this way, the vision of Leonardo da Vinci is still helping to change the world. On the day of the experiment, the sun rises on perfect conditions. The sky is clear with almost no wind. Air turbulence increases during the day, so the launch must take place quickly. Adrian knows perfectly well all that could play against him in this critical experiment. Katarina's built a beautiful parachute. It seems very well engineered, and I can't wait to try it. After all this anticipation, after all this time of wondering what will happen, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. The greatest danger will be low to the ground. If Leonardo's parachute fails below 1,000 feet, 
Adrian won't have enough time to cut himself free and open his reserve chute. The experiment begins. 21st century skydivers and scientists guided by a 15th century visionary. The divide of the ages bridged by a common bond, a willingness to risk everything from one's reputation to one's very life in pursuit of knowledge and progress. Once airborne, there is no turning back. Leonardo's parachute will fly or fall. feet, Katerina gives the command to drop. Leonardo's parachute takes on a life of its own. centuries 20 generations of doubt disappear in the desert air one of the great modern skydivers has returned to the renaissance and recaptured the wonder of flight success. The conclusion is inescapable, simple yet extraordinary. Leonardo da Vinci was right. <laughs> <laughs> 